rough night with a flash flooding likely across the state. What I did with uh, my wife Cheryl today is we got a lot of uh, items off the basement floor uh, because our basement is prone to flooding. So if your basement is prone to flooding, you might want to do the same thing to prevent uh, valuable objects in the basement from getting damaged. Now we already have a flash flood warning in effect for Litchfield uh, County until 1145 this evening. This is just the beginning of what will be many flash flood warnings as the night goes on. And there's also going to be more river flood warnings. For now, the Housatonic River is under a flood warning. And, uh, you know, we could see uh, moderate flooding in parts of the state with the smaller rivers responding first, the smaller streams as well, then the larger rivers will come later on. So you can see heavy rain is falling across northern Connecticut, New Haven. You're starting to get into some heavy rain as well. So whatever lull you had near the shoreline, it's not lasting very long. At Brainerd Airport in Hartford, already 1.2 inches of rain stores over an inch. Plainfield, nearly four tenths in West Haven. Not a lot of rain, but that's going to change in a hurry, and temperatures are in the 60s statewide. So this is one model, the NAM. Now, this is uh, on the higher side of what a lot of models are forecasting, but I can't roll out four, five, six maybe even seven or eight inches of rain before all is said and done. All right, so the worst is going to occur essentially between 8 p.m. and 6 o'clock in the morning, rapidly improving conditions during the morning commute. But there's going to be a lot of water on the roads with rainfall rates tonight one to two inches an hour. Flooding is likely. The ground is already saturated. We just came off the uh, third wettest summer on record. Two to five inches of rain with locally higher amounts of uh, six to eight inches. So poor drainage flooding, basement flooding, river flooding all on the table. And we're also looking at the potential for some washed out roads later tonight. In addition to the flood threat, there is a severe threat. This yellow area is a level two risk for damaging winds and tornadoes. The threat decreases as you work your way northward across Connecticut. There's our ICAM in uh, Windsor, 63 degrees and raining there. Our ICAM in New Haven is uh, showing that the, the rain is moving in. It's a little warmer there with the temperature near 70. But most of us are in the uh, 60s right now. And we have that wind that's out of the north or northeast. Now, as long as we remain in the northeasterly flow, that's great. But should the warm front move across Connecticut, and that's when we could run into uh, trouble with some rotation. A, a tornado watch in, uh, is in effect right now just to the west of New York City. You can see that the heaviest rain is still to come. There's uh, several tornado warnings in effect right now off to our south and west. And here's the warm front still across New Jersey and south of Long Island, but it is moving northward. And if it gets into Connecticut, the change in the wind across the warm front could lead to rotation and tornadoes. So here comes the heavy rain ramping up as we go through the evening, still pouring at uh, midnight tonight, two o'clock in the morning. But it's going to shut down pretty quickly as we go into the uh, morning commute. And tomorrow will turn out to be a nice a day with the uh, afternoon ride home a lot better. So lows tonight will be in the uh, 50s and low 60s that will come later tonight and highs tomorrow in the low and uh, middle 70s with uh, rain ending early then partly sunny skies friday looks great partly sunny and breezy a low of 52 and a high of 72 and we're talking about 40s friday night saturday gorgeous sunny and 77 clouds and showers on sunday a high of 78 but monday labor day itself partly sunny and warm a high of 83 and it looks like we'll have the chance for showers Tuesday and Wednesday. So most of the holiday weekend is looking good for the shoreline. We're forecasting a high of 76 tomorrow. All right. We just have to get through tonight, but we know you'll be yes. there for us, Bruce. Thank you very much.